Hi friends, welcome to my kitchen. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. And if this is your first time here, welcome, I'm glad to have you. My name is Stephanie, I hope you'll stick around. Today's video is a collaboration with my new friend Sarah over at Home Sweet Homes. We're going to be making homemade copycat candy bars. I chose to make copycat almond joys. This is Ginger Snap Kitchen. The first thing I did was toast about three quarters of a cup of almonds over medium heat until they were fragrant. This took about eight minutes. Then I set them aside to cool. Next, I covered a small sheet pan with foil. Then I greased the pan with coconut oil. Then I set it aside. Next, in a large mixing bowl, I added one can of sweetened condensed milk, one teaspoon of vanilla, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Once that was well combined, I gradually added two cups of confectioner's sugar. Here's what I'm listening to today while I work. Next, I added four cups of sweetened coconut flakes. Then I mixed it all together until the coconut was well incorporated. This was a bit of a challenge and it took a few minutes to complete. Then I dumped the mixture onto the greased cookie sheet and I pressed it firmly into an even layer. I struggled trying to do this with a spatula, then I realized it would be so much easier to do it with my hands that I coated with a little bit of coconut oil. Once it was flat and even, I scored the bars with my knife. I didn't cut all the way through, and this was so I would know how big they would be and where to place the almonds. I placed two toasted almonds onto each bar. Then I transfer the sheet to the refrigerator for about an hour. After an hour, I remove them from the refrigerator and turn them out onto a cutting board. I remove the foil, then using the scored lines, I cut them into bars. Next, I decided that I wanted them to look closer to the original, so I rounded the corners. This was very easy and a lot like playing with Play-Doh. After that, I moved them back to the refrigerator while I melted the chocolate. I used a makeshift double boiler to melt the chocolate. I like the way that the heat from a double boiler keeps the chocolate liquefied throughout the entire process. I gently placed each one of the bars into the melted chocolate and turned it over. Then I lifted it out and tapped off the excess and placed it on a wax paper lined tray. Then I simply repeated the process until all of the bars had been coated. Once they were all coated, I transferred them back to the refrigerator for a few minutes to set. While they're obviously not as uniform and beautiful as mass-produced candy, they look pretty good and they taste amazing. I hope you give these a try. They were definitely worth the effort. Be sure to check out the rest of the videos available at Home Sweet Homes. There's a link to her channel right here. 
and it's in my description box. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.